Alright guys, today I'll teach you how you can create this with your smartphone. Alright guys, I know you are excited already to watch this video tutorial on how you can simply create a commercial video ad in CapCut application. So in this video, I will show you how you can simply create a professional commercial video ad like the one you just watched in CapCut application. So right now, I am going to tap on new project. So all the link you need is in the description below. Just tap on it to download any required material. So I'll tap on my photos. Okay, so I'll be inputting the background first. Okay, so I'll scroll down and choose the background I want to use for the video. So this is the background right here. I'll tap on it, just one tap. Then I'll click on hard. So the link to download the background, all the things I'll be using is also in the description. So as you can see, here is my background. The background is in 16 ratio 9. So I'll tap on the watermark and delete the watermark first. Okay, so I can just extend this background to at least um, 20 seconds. It depends on the duration of the video. And once I'm done, I can actually trim out what I don't want. Okay, so as, as you can see right now, here is the background. And the next thing for me to add is the image, is the product image and all the text we need to add. So I'll tap on overlay, then I'll click on hard overlay. So right here, I'll be inputting one of the product image we'll be using fixed so I'll so this is it right next one is this so I'll click on hard so everything you need is in the description where I write download the material use here okay so this is the product image right here so I need to increase the seconds to five seconds as you can see so it is in three seconds so I need to increase it to five seconds Okay, here is the five seconds duration as you can see it is between um four and six this is it four and six so the in between is five seconds all right so as you can see here's my product image right here the first product image so the thing i will do right here is to add animation to it i'll add a keyframe so here is the place you can simply add a keyframe as you can see where this navigation bar is showing this particular place that is where you can add a keyframe so i'll tap on the first keyframe i will add it to the first place so i'll go to the last place of the particular image and add a keyframe also here's the place where the plus icon is showing so i've had a keyframe to it all right so once i had a keyframe the next thing for me to do is to actually put an animation to this particular place i had a keyframe so at this particular first place, I want the product image to be coming from um, the left hand side as you can see. So just make sure that you follow the line. The so I want the particular image to be coming from there and to go. So in the second animation also, I will click on it. So I'll put my line, this is the line. So I'll put it in the second animation I added. So at this particular place where I add a keyframe, so I want this particular product image to be going like this. All right guys, so let's play this video and let's see how it looks before we move into the second one. So let's play it. All right, this is so cool right now. So let's just put it right here all right so let's play this video and let's see how it looks all right guys so this video is so perfect right now the next thing for me to add is actually the orange that is falling so i'll tap on overlay then hard overlay so at this particular first place i'll click on hard overlay so right here i'll be adding some particular um orange image okay so here is it i'll click on the first one and i'll click on hard so just make sure that you extend the duration to the duration of the product image also that is five seconds 
I'm sure it is starting from the starting point. Okay, so decrease the size of this particular um, orange. This is not even an orange. Okay, so I'll tap on the at the first place. I'll click on this animation that is a keyframe. I'll tap on it. So at the last place also, I will also add a keyframe to it. All right. So at this particular first place, I want this to be coming from here. Then I can just rotate it with my hand. Okay. I want to be coming from here. I also want it to stop here. So this now here. All right. So let's play this video and let's see how it looks. So I will also add the particular image I had it right here. So I will add it to the right hand side of this video. So I'll click on add overlay. Then I will add the particular image right. So here is the particular image. Then I'll click on add. So as you can see, here is it. And I'll make sure that it is also in five seconds. I will extend to five seconds. Alright guys, so once I do this, the next thing for me to do is to actually decrease the size of this image to our size. Then I will also add it right. Alright, so the next thing for me to add is animation to add this particular first place right here from the beginning of the video. So I'll click on animation. This is the keyframe. Then at the last place also, I'll also add a keyframe to it. So at this particular first place, I want this to be coming from here i'll take it okay i want this to become a add place i want it to lie so i'll rotate it out and i'll write here all right guys so let's play this video and let's look all right so this is so perfect right now the next thing for me to add is the second product image so i'll click on hard overlay then how we had the second product image right now Alright, so here is the second product image. I'll click on it, then I'll click on hard. Alright, so at this particular place, I want I don't want the full image to so I only want the half to out me just and then once you are this it right here. Okay. Alright, so the next thing for me to add is the text. So at this particular place, I added the product image at the particular point. That's particular point. I will add the text also. So I'll go to text, then I'll click on hard text. So the first text I'll be adding is refreshing, refreshing, okay. So the font also, make sure you change the font to Balor. So I'll just scroll down, click on Balor font. So here is it, Balor, okay. Alright guys, so this is the font right here. As you can see, this is the text. So I will increase the particular size of the text as you can see refreshing then this text again i'll copy it then i'll change it to taste taste all right so this days i want the text to actually be a little big so i will increase the size and place it right here as you can see now this particular um place is now perfect right now so the next thing for us to do is to add animation to the particular image and the text all right so i will go back then i will click on overlay so in this particular product image i'll tap on it 
so at this first place i will had a keyframe to it so here's this place you can actually add a keyframe so i'll tap on it then i also add a keyframe here also okay i'll tap on the keyframe okay so at the first keyframe i had it i want this particular product image to be coming okay so let's play this and let's see how it looks okay this is so perfect now so i'll go back and tap on my text so the text i'll click on the refreshing that's the first one so i'll go to animation so right here i'll be adding animation to this particular text also so the animation is slide right so just find the slide right here you can have slide right or slide. it depends on how you want just put the seconds to one point zero seconds So the out animation also i'll tap on the out animation okay so i'll be using slides slides okay you can just add animation to be 0 0.0 seconds also so the second text i will do the same thing to it i'll tap on the animation so the in animation is slide left so i'll click on slide left okay so i can 1.0 seconds out animation that is the slide so just make sure to light right okay this then i'll put it point zero second all right so let's play this video now and let's see how it all right so in this particular place i also add a keyframe to the particular image so here is the image so i'll click on this keyframe then at the last place also i had a keyframe to it all right so i'll just make sure that i put this particular product image to be going like okay so the next thing for me to do right now is to click on add overlay to add the third product image so i'll click on this particular one right here this is it then i'll click on hard all right so once i had it i can just place it right here so i'll tap on animation then i'll tap on the in animation so the in animation i'll be adding right here is spin left spin left this is it then to be in 2.0 right so at this particular place i also add my text i'll go back then i'll click on text so i'll click on hard text so the text i'll be adding right here is 100 percent non alcoholic so the first one i write is 100 percent non so i'll decrease the size a little bit and put it right here so i'll also copy the text so the second one i'll be adding is alcoholic alcohol leak or alcohol anyone you want okay all right so i'll click on the first text here then i'll click on the animation so i'll be adding in animation to this so the in animation i'll be adding right here is flicker so here is it flicker once is one point zones Art animation also click on the art animation so the art animation is also flip okay so the second 0.6 seconds i will do the same thing to the text also so the second text so i'll tap on the second text then i'll go to the animation so the in animation like i said is flicker that's 1.0 second and the is okay. that's in six seconds all right guys so this is the end of this video let's play this video first all right guys so you can also add as many product image as you want don't forget the link to download all this product image is in the description below so you can add as many product image as you want so this is the end of this video if you want to save your video you can simply tap on this save then your video will automatically export to your phone 
gallery so this is the end of this video if you find this video helpful to you don't forget to like subscribe so you'll be notified anytime i drop a new video like this thanks for watching see you in my next video